Yo, what is up everybody? How is everybody doing? It's your boy Wolves back for another tutorial episode. And this one's probably going to be really simple, but honestly, I have nothing going on right now. So I felt like getting on here and uh, talking about this topic. Today, we're going to be talking about a, some people may call it a simple topic, but some people have trouble with this, which I can understand. I could understand how it could be confusing. Um, however, we had an individual in our Discord ask about takedowns, um, and for those that saw last episode, um, I used takedowns for the missing person. Um, now, depending on the light bar, um, some bars are brighter than others, I will say, um, and I'm going to show you the differences between like the NR1 light bar versus the all bar versus the N uh, NYPD style, there it is. The LAPD style light bar or older LAPD style light bar, and we will go from there. Um, but I'm going to be using my boys, the good old Tennessee Highway Patrol, for an example because I, I love this agency. It's my favorite, obviously, you know, home sweet home. But uh, we will go from there. Now, this is their responding code three pattern, definitely a very unique pattern. Um, and we're going to add some takedowns now, THP has some pretty interesting takedown action um they don't use the middle but they use the uh the secondary light modules uh for their takedowns which is very interesting now technically speaking uh the light bars that they use don't have dual color uh so what that means is like for example takedowns as you can see i blacked those out so they do not flash with the bar same thing, or I did not do it in the back, but technically there are two ambers back here which are wired into the brake lights, which illuminate whenever the uh, trooper hits the uh, brakes, but we can't do that in FL. Otherwise, I would wire these in for red and put two red lights here uh, because I love the fact you can, uh, they do that. You know, like they, uh, they wire in some lights, uh, like parts of the light bar or parts of uh, the rear deck lights. Uh, to the brake lights, which is really cool. Uh, but it is what it is. So I'm going to show you how to add takedowns. Now, as I mentioned or tried to explain uh, in Discord, uh, the way you add takedowns is those lights do not flash. However, it's super easy to make them flash. I'm going to show you both ways, okay? Now, depending on the pattern, uh, where is the inner one? There it is. Uh, this is a very simple pattern, but larger patterns take a little bit of time because you have to make sure it's the same. Uh, the reason why I say that, so for example, take down here. We're going to add take down here. We're going to add the, or, uh, the uh, alley lights, which are going to be the middle. Uh, this little PSA to some people, this, <laughs> these are corner lights on the inner one light bar. Um, they are not uh, takedowns. These, are, they, these do not include to be takedowns. Uh, those... Two corner lights are actually these little pieces right here. Uh, the middle light, obviously, is the one in the middle, which would be your takedown. Um, I don't know what bar the inner one is actually based off of, but um, it's definitely one of the brightest light bars uh, in the game, for sure. The uh, new light bars are not that bright, unfortunately. But, uh, let's go ahead and add this here. All right, and one more, and you have to make sure it is the same for each step, and boom, we have takedown action, alley light action, and it is exactly the same, and you still get your blue illuminate uh, uh, light um, on the sides of the vehicle, which is how it's supposed to be. All right, so let's say you miss a step. Okay, let's say I forget to add this on the end. See how it flashes? So that's what I mean by you have to make sure it's exactly the same, otherwise they will flash. Um, but actually, that doesn't look too bad. Hang on, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be kind of stupid here for a second. Ooh, that actually looks pretty cool though. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that little that that quick flash actually looks really cool with this bar. Now, let's say you have five steps and you want to add a little bit of uh, wig-wagging action. Super easy. Um, obviously, you want to try your best to time them both the same, but with shorter uh, patterns, it's it does make it a little difficult. Like, for example, 
I need a third uh, right here. Otherwise, it's not going to look right. Um, so this is when thinking comes in. So you can see this is a blank uh, slot. If you want it there to be a pause throughout the uh, sequence, you can not put anything here, and it will kind of like jump with the rest of the lights. But always hit that update changes button as you're working on your lighting package. And then from there, you can kind of see what you need to work on and what needs to be adjusted. And it just, there you go. Now you got this real fast. Ooh, that, the this side looks really cool, actually. Not gonna lie. Very nice. And you can do the same with the ambers on the back. It's super easy. Okay. Now, moving on to the newer light bars. It actually looks really freaking good. I'm not going to lie. That looks like IRL THP coming up the hill. I swear. That <laughs> seems legit. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the all bar. Okay, because everybody be using the all bar because it, it looks good. Like, it actually sits on the vehicle. Um, it just, It's a really nice looking bar, um, if I'm being honest. Now, um, I think this is actually based off of a sound off light bar. Uh, judging by the uh, shapes of the uh, light bar. Somebody mentioned that the corner lights are angled, and it's not supposed to be like that. It is 100% supposed to be like that. Most light bars have angled side lighting uh, for better visibility. Uh, the only light that's supposed to be facing forward is supposed to be your alley light. Um, that is not a bug. That is how it's supposed to be, and that is very, very good work by... Uh, 600 and fungus for sure. Uh, except I will say, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the sound off light bars, they don't angle. They actually go around with the frame, which is very interesting, but we're not going to get into that. All right, so let's go ahead and make a package, a lighting package. I'll make something very freaking simple. Um, let's say you want a simple side-to-side -side wigwag. Simple enough, right? I think. And let's say I want to add flood, like a full flood option in the uh, in the middle, which is definitely possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the entire bar. So meaning we are not going to add any type of breaks, I guess you could call it, uh, for takedown slots or um, what do you want to call it? Seems legit. There it is. Okay, so we have something extremely simple. And this actually does look like a sound off pattern, which is kind of funny. Um, but I want that full flood option. So you can do two things, okay? You can either illuminate the entire front of the bar, or you can do what I like to do. Because I'm pretty sure sound most sound off light bars are dual. Uh, dual color. So the entire front interface has the option to turn white, which is cool. I know Oklahoma uh, just did that with their units, and uh, I love it. I love it. But I want I want a little bit of blue in the front, right? I don't want full flood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this first module, including the side modules, uh, blue. But I'm going to leave, you can see how it's starting to uh, look right. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good right there. And one more. I gotta get a new mouse. My mouse, I can't click fast anymore because I, I messed up the button. So I have to go slow, otherwise it doesn't respond. So, got to love it. And boom, there is your full flood option. Um, super simple, super easy. You still get your blue side lighting along with a little bit of front action. Really nice. All right, so I totally forgot to answer these questions uh, mid-episode, so I'm editing this in for you guys. I have two questions I need to answer. I showed you in the episode how to add takedowns with a pattern. However, I had someone reach out, how do I add takedowns with no flashing lights, no blue lights, just basic scene lighting? One step is all you need. Um, you don't need to add multiple steps. I know I did in the episode, but I did that for just 
explaining uh, everything. But if you're wanting just basic scene lighting, you just need to add one step. Just put the white lights where you want them to be, hit apply, and you should be good to go. Um, unfortunately, you cannot turn off the wig wagging tail lights or the headlights. Those are there's nothing you can do about that. But if you just want basic scene lighting, that's how you do that. Uh, second question: How do I add a blank step? Um, so, for example, you may notice that in that episode, I had lights on the vehicle, like uh, I had my rear deck lights, license plate lights, but they they had no working lights. Um, all you need to do, because I know FL, when you add a light there with no steps, it will get rid of it. Um, just add a blank step. So don't apply any lights. Just add a step, hit apply, hit save, and you're good to go. Um, and it will keep the light on the vehicle, but with no action. So hopefully that explains that. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. See you guys in the next episode. Overall, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I wanted to help y'all out the best I can. Um, I know it's been a while since we've done a tutorial episode, but then again, you know, every time I talk about uh, doing an episode, we get busy. Uh, our personal life gets crazy. But overall, as I mentioned in last episode, the pack, you guys, I uh, really appreciate the patience and understandings. Um, and we really do appreciate the overwhelming support. Y'all are absolutely insane, and uh, we will go from there. I love y'all to death. Hopefully, hopefully this helps. If it doesn't, if you, uh, sorry. Um, check us out on Discord if you have any questions. We'd love to help you out the best we can. Uh, and we will go from there. Um, may have another tutorial episode coming in a couple of days. I don't know yet. But y'all are awesome. Y'all are crazy. I tell you. But I love y'all to death. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.